What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of All Fishing TV. So it's been a long time since I have uh, showed my arsenal, uh, what I've been using. I think the last video that I've showed my arsenal was like, at earliest, it was the beginning of 2017, and it might have even been before that. It's almost 2019. I'm gonna show you the arsenal that I've been using for 2018, and also what I'm going to be using for uh, next year. Granted, I'm probably I'm probably going to be getting a few more rods and reels coming up over Christmas time, winter. I, you know, I, I like buying a lot of stuff. During that time, I just spend a lot of money on fishing stuff during the winter. That's how I spend my time. But anyways, guys, uh, let's just hop right into this video. Um, I was about to, you know, take apart all my reels and rods, um, get them all cleaned out and stuff. So I figured I'd just set them all up and show you guys what I've been using over the year. Now I'm going to start with what I use the most and I'm going to work down to what I really don't use. To be honest with you, I have one rod that I don't use and I will get to that in the end. But we're going to start with the most used first and work our way down from there. Up first we have the loose speed spool. It is a carbon laser or laser carbon, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got this on sale at Cabela's for $20. This has been a phenomenal reel. It was on a, at the Bargain Cave and it was a return. I don't know what exactly was wrong with it. It works perfect for me. That is a normally like a 40 to 60, somewhere around there dollar reel. So I got actually a really good deal on it. It's just what I use for my soft plastics and stuff. Here's my go-to pond hopping rod and reel. Um, and you know, I just bring this on the boat everywhere I go, stuff like that. And attached to the reel is the Daiwa Laguna. I got this as a crisp, Christmas gift, birthday gift, whatever. Uh, same diff, I guess. It was a gift from Nick and Paul. This rod has been so good to me ever since I've got it. I think I've had it a little bit over a year. With constant use, this has definitely been a fantastic rod. And with the color scheme as well, I think this rod and reel go perfect together with the black and the red. It just looks so freaking good together. I'm a big fan with like it looking good. I know it doesn't do much, but I don't know. I feel a lot cooler. When the, when the rod looks good with the reel. It, I don't know, I'm just weird like that. Moving on to my next, you know, daily user. Uh, I grab this one as well as the other one when I wanna go out and um, fish a couple ponds, whatever. I always have this with me. The other rod was soft plastics, tes Texas rigs, and this one is for spinner baits, buzz baits, and stuff like that hard baits. So like I always say guys, the Abu Garcia Black Max, one of my favorite freaking reels out there. The price is 40 or $50, I'm not totally sure. It is a 641 gear ratio, like it, I'm pretty sure that's the only one that they have with the Black Max. Paired up with that reel is the number eight tackle Blackout series rod. This is a medium heavy and they don't make these anymore. I have two of these, I bought them. I bought two of them right when they went on sale, I think it was last year for Christmas, and they discontinued them. So I'm glad I got them when I got them because these rods are absolutely phenomenal. By far my favorite rod that I've ever had in my life. Definitely a cool looking rod as well. Print in the back, I honestly don't know what it is, but it looks freaking awesome. And it's a darker rod so it can match with any reel, which is awesome. So like I said, guys, I use hard baits on this, you know, spinner baits, buzz baits, crank baits. This is just my all around go-to, anything other than soft plastic rod. And by the way, guys, what I use um, for height for most of my rods is uh, seven foot. All the ones that, pretty much all the ones you guys are gonna see today, baitcaster wise, has been seven feet. That's just what I use. I don't generally go higher or lower than that. I'm just weird like that. I'm comfortable with it, so that's what I use. This one's gonna be tricky to explain. This is by far my favorite reel that I currently own, but it's the one I use the least. I couldn't tell you why, guys. I don't know if I just wanted to keep it looking good, working good, I don't, I don't know. It's definitely my most expensive. This reel went for a hundred and I wanna say 30, 130 bucks on sale too. It is the Lose Speed Spool Mach, the original Mach. It's a seven, five to one. I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot more this year. I don't know why I haven't used it that much. But anyways, guys, this reel is paired up with another one of the number eight tackle blackout series rods. Um, I, will, I, will, I hope I never break these rods just because I really, really don't wanna lose them. Maybe that's why, I mean, the pair of these two, um, the the, expensive reel and the number eight. I just don't want anything to happen to them. <laughs> the other number eight tackle rod um, I use all the time and I, I buy them to use them, but they don't sell any, anymore so I don't want to break them. So maybe that's why I'm keeping one in uh, 
in a safe space. But I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna use it again this year. I haven't used it that much, but this year's gonna change. Now moving on to one of the most trustworthy setups I've ever had. This is by far out of the lineup that I have has been the longest standing setup that I have owned. I pretty much have got this as soon as I started fishing, maybe a year after. So this is a couple years old for sure. I got the Luz Speed Spool Carbon Fiber. I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I am a huge fan of Luz. I swapped over to Luz maybe a year after fishing, so that's probably when I got this one. I actually got this on sale as well from Dick's Sporting Goods. I think I had a, had $10 off and this was like, I think this was $80 reel for like 40 or 50 bucks, which was awesome. And then, like I said, guys, I like I like the rod and reel matching. I have the Cabela's Tourney Trail IM7. I don't know if they make, they make these anymore. It's been such a long time since I've had it, but this is actually a freaking phenomenal rod. It is my frogging rod, and so it is a heavy action rod. The carbon fire reel is seven one to one gear ratio. Definitely my longest standing rod and reel setup. And I don't even wash these reels that much. Me being lazy kind of makes me feel out what reels are actually durable because I don't wash them too much. I think I wash them, you know, I clean them out, oil them up and stuff like maybe once every other year if I'm lucky. So, you know, if they last that long, then they're a pretty decent reel. Now, this I've been torn on for a while. And the only reason I've been torn on it is because I love the reel. I absolutely love this reel. It has been amazing to me. I haven't used it in a while just because it's been paired up with this crappy rod. I got this rod, you know, it, it was like, I think it was like 20 bucks. It's a Berkley, I don't even know what kind of Berkley it is. Berkley Amp. I got this for my jerkbait setup and the only reason why I went cheap is because I don't jerkbait fish that much. Um, it's a, actually a six and a half. I like a shorter rod for jer jerkbait fishing. Other than this rod, every other bait caster is seven feet. I wanna use this reel, but I don't wanna use this rod. So I've been actually putting off buying a rod for this one. I'll almost definitely buy another rod for this reel over the winter with the extra snow plowing money and stuff like that. Moving on to what it actually is, we have a Abu Garcia Silver Max. This is actually the upgrade to the Black Max and it is a tad bit better, a little bit more bearings. This one ranges from, I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks. One of the two. It's not too much more than the Black Max. And then I have the Berkley Amp, like I said, and definitely getting rid of this rod. Moving on to my one and only spinning setup. I have a 6.6 medium light Cabela's Pro Guide IM6 for the rod. And for the reel, I actually just got, as most of you guys probably seen the video already, I got the Piscafon Carbon X spinning reel. This is a 3000 series. With spinning rods, pretty much I buy the rod for drop shots and trout. It's a little more versatile while going through the creeks and also I can feel a little bit more with the drop shot. That is pretty much the only two things I use a spinning rod for. Um, nothing really to go over here. Anyways, just another uh, Cabela's brand, so it's a little on the cheaper side. But we have a six two to one gear ratio Carbon X. I did a whole review on this if you guys want to get more in depth with that. Um, I do all the stats, I use it in a video. If you guys want to see more about that, go ahead and I think it's like two or three videos ago. Moving on to a rod and reel that I virtually never use. Uh, this is my ice fishing setup. Just a cheap old setup. I don't ice fish really at all. I don't even know what these are, to be honest with you. I think I've used it more in my little creek catching little bluegill more than I've ice fished with it. So, you know, I'll always have it in case, you know, I get invited to, you know, go ice fishing. Now, I'm not gonna show you both of them but this is what me and Megan travel with. It's a three piece Cabela's rod. Comes in this awesome case. It looks freaking cool. And I'm just gonna take out the bottom. It was pretty expensive for this setup. It's a seven foot medium heavy. We used these when we went to Florida and it was perfect. Easy to travel, you stick them right in your suitcase. You put your reels in a bag. Everything can fit in your suitcase with these little travel rods. So guys, I know I don't have like 10,000 setups like all the other pro fishermen have or the other YouTube fishermen, but but I'm pretty comfortable with what I got. I have enough rods and reels where I can put one type of each bait, you know, on every single rod and uh, always have them at the ready. Other than that, guys, I am pretty sure that is it for today. I hope you guys liked me going over my arsenal for this past year and next year as well. If there's any updates, if I buy new stuff, I'll make sure to add that into a video let you guys know. I'll keep you guys updated on my arsenal. If you have any questions about any rod or reel that I went over today, go ahead and leave them down. Leave your comments down in the comments section and I'll answer them. Thank you all for watching this episode and I will catch you guys on the next one.